we've got our Saga Incursions. They are back November 5th to December 5th. Uh, you know how these all work. I just want to make sure I go through the zone reward highlights here to let you know what's good. So here we've got, uh, for the first time, I believe first time, right? Seven star, one to two rank up gem is one of the rewards here. You'll be able to get uh, 10 banquet tickets here. You'll get 3,750 Titan shards, 7,500 seven star shards, and 57,000 T4 shards for those of you looking to get your next rank four. Through that, we've got our contest through the ages. Chronoversary part one. Now, in the Chronoversary, we've got Herbie here. Herbie's telling the summoner, hey, hey, there's some issues going on here with some time anomalies in the contest. It's impacting the contest. We got to do something about this. And so Reed Richards jumps on in and he's like, hey, man, looks like there's some stuff happening. We need to fix this. It's a time stream issue. So you're going to end up going into quests that are based on a year. So as you can see here, you've got 2014 all the way up to our 10-year anniversary. It's going to be running all the way until January. Now, whichever quest that you go into, you have to make sure that you match the year of the defender with the attacker, right? And it's a very straightforward quest. We've heard you on all of this. Uh, you wanted simpler side quests. All you got to do is go into the quest and do the quest and do the thing and get the thing at the end and then that is it right now if you don't have the right champions don't worry about it we've got the venerable crystal waiting for you to add those champions to your roster so you can get the quest done so and the last part about this that's actually really really good is that you don't have to do it within that week so in the first week we're going to drop 2014 and 2015 and then each year every week after that but you don't have to do that week. You can hop around. You can go to the current week. You can go back to the other week. So if you open a Venerable Crystal and you finally get a champion that you can use or that you need it on your roster, you can do that. So it's a free open up. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, he did get smoked a little bit. I, I saw that. <laughs> Fenton's, Fenton's laughing about that. It's, he appreciates the comment. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, so it's, it's pretty free, pretty open. Um, you get the champions when you can, uh, and you can go back and do whatever you need to do. Some pretty juicy rewards in there as well. So looking forward to you guys all dropping in there. Now, if you've logged in lately, which I think you have, I mean, you're logging into this live stream, right? Uh, Venom and Anti-Venom have a little something to say. Let's go ahead and roll that. And so uh, that's right. You're going to be running from October 21st, which already happened, to November 15th. So if you log in and you haven't uh, already for seven days, sorry, let me go back and make that a little bit clearer. So it's running October 21st to November 15th, right? You log in and for seven days, you're going to receive some pretty great items from Venom, the last dance login calendar, including a six star Venom and anti Venom. So as long as you log in before the end date, you'll be given the full seven days to collect. So, for example, if you log in on November 15th, you're still going to be able to get seven days. But if you log in on November 16th, you don't get it, right? So, that is that. Now, I want to take a moment here to talk about what I believe is one of your favorite parts of the contest. The seven-hour and 22-hour events. Now... This is one of our glorious reveals here, and what's going to be happening is we're going to be now adding a one-hour and three-hour event to it. So it's going to make it even better because I know how much you love the seven-hour and 22-hour events. We've got some pretty juicy rewards that we've added to it, things like gold and dual credits, right? We all love dual credits. Uh, and, uh, tier 4 class catalysts and... Uh, wait. What is this? The daily, Fenton, Fenton, what are you, are you telling me that the daily super event is what the glorious reveal is, not this? I just 
board, man. Don't, don't you, you just run the board? <laughs> Are you telling me the daily super event is taking over for the seven hour and 22 hour events? Those are going away? And it's going to be the daily super event in perpetuity? Are you kidding me? The daily super, the DSE, the DSE, the DSE? Is that where you tell? Yo, okay, okay, okay. Look, you may run the board, but I'll tell you what. You guys are not going to be bored at all because all you got to do is log in every single day, do the three objectives, get your stuff, progress just for being in the game and having a good time. Sorry, I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to troll you guys a little bit <laughs> doing that. I, I, felt, I felt like because I know you love those events so much, there couldn't be anything that could top it, but I think I found something. <laughs> that can top it. So uh, go ahead and play your way, finish those objectives, and get that juice that we all love to drink. Now, <laughs> so, I did. Look, he said he, he had me. I did. <laughs> okay. Now, before we talk about the champions coming out, because I, it, it is a massive section to talk about. Uh, a lot of really great champs, great reveals here. Uh, I can't wait for you to see it. But before we do that, I want to give you a chance to win either Spiral or Dazzler, right? But, but we've juiced this up just a little bit. This is a giveaway here. Um, we also have a one to two rank up gem and 1. Million, 1 1.1 million gold to go along with it, just so you can get the deed done. And so, alas, uh, I am going to have to do it a different way. So we do have our two champions as usual. And of course, there's, Wait, what? Oh, man. Sorry I'm late, buddy. There's a I lot of traffic on the way here. Did not know you were even coming here anyway. Oh, that's Dave, good. I would have missed this for the world, buddy. Well, that's great. So, well, I hope you brought some goodies with you. Oh, Dave, you know I always keep those deep dives on me. The deep dive? Oh, those are the goodies. Oh, those are the goodies. Oh, well, perfect. You know what? So, you just sent me for a loop. You sent me for, I feel like I'm kind of spiraling out of control. I'm just so surprised that you're here. I'm actually very happy that you're here because, you know what? I do not like reading what Mike <laughs> writes me all the time. <laughs> I want to have like a really great conversation about the champions. And, uh, and here you are. And we've got Spiral to look at. Let's do it, man. Yeah, let's start there. To begin, alternate your actions to build your fervor so you can stack your ruptures and power steal. If the opponent has a power gain buff, these fervors will stay paused. Build to just under two bars of power, then launch to summon your first set of dancing blades. Stay aggressive and fire them on your way up to special two to inflict your vulnerability. Then launch your special to take advantage of your massive stack of ruptures. Keep in mind, while your swords are active, you can't be struck while dodging back. And those dancing blades can trigger her destroy mechanic simply by making contact with your opponent. Now, even though she doesn't gain power from the Mystic Dispersion Mastery, Spiral loves opponents with a lot of buffs. Since her rupture potency is increased for every buff on the opponent, she can stay aggressive and use her blades and strikers to keep the assault rolling and melt her opponent with massive damage over time. And hey, don't forget, she can destroy a large number of different buffs just by blocking. So, scary defenders with unblockable buffs, fury, or immortality mechanics won't be too much trouble for Spiral. They'll just fuel her damage and be reduced to rubble. Okay, that's ridiculous. It's pretty nuts. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty. pretty nuts, that's dude. pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I know her name is Spiral, and there's all these like spins and everything. Yes. But with all of those hits, does anyone else ever get a turn? Oh, that's what this is going to be like today. Yeah. Right? Okay. The, all you, right. You should know this by <laughs> I now. Right? Know you know should by know now. this right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So first things first, we've got like 32 hit combos happening there. Yeah. Um, and. She's just super fun to play. She's so fun to play, yeah. dude. It, it, Absolutely. It's so cool, so unique. You know, she's she's you know we're ten years into this game, right? And we're still 
seeing new mechanics enter that just give you a completely different feel to the fight. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. so she has this mechanic called the dancing blades, mm -hmm. right? And she summons them on her special attacks. And, you know, these give her certain effects. Like, for example, she can uh, just throw it out there. She can uh, dex serpent special attacks, right? Because she's able to dex undexable specials when she has them active. But not only that, as cool as that is, if you hold the block input down and you swipe up, you can kind of use it as like a pseudo striker. Right, because yeah. it's kind of like a combo extender yep. in a way. Yep. So she can really extend those combos in a lot of very unique ways. We've seen it with Kate Bishop uh, as she goes to parry. Right, she gets the counter attack. Right, mm -hmm. same thing with uh, Spider Punk. It's the same kind of idea. Like there's the strike, and then you kind of get this stun. But this is the first time you can do it in the middle of a combo. Yes. Right? So as long as you're not using your combo ender, you can toss this in and continue going. Absolutely. So you can kind of go for like a medium, light, light, light blades, medium, 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 light, 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 medium striker, medium, light, 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 medium. You prepared a clip, didn't you? I did prepare a clip. Let's um, see how long these combos. That, let's just watch this clip. Yeah. Let's throw this up on the screen. Okay, that is... So there's the strike, right? Yeah. Light, medium, if you look at the bottom of the screen, we kind of have the input written out, right? So I did turn the damage off here because he would have died if I didn't. So we're throwing the special two, and now we're going for the blades, and he gets that little bit of a stun. Going into a full five hit combo and a special one. Now when she uses the special one, it takes two seconds for the blades to activate, but that's okay. So this is technically a different combo, but as you can see, we got a bit of an intercept there, and we're continuing on, right? We're into the five hit combo, here into another striker, the second striker in the same string. One more five hit, and then a special one. And as you can see right here, this is why there's a little delay, right? Otherwise, this would just never stop. Well, that is absolutely fantastic. And you know what? Uh, this month is, well, this reveal <laughs> is not short of really great champions. So why don't we show them what Dazzler looks like. Let's do it. Let's see. To begin, strike the opponent to start building your tempo. Once you get to 10, you'll ready your dazzling dash. Dash in from outside striking distance to inflict your falter and heavy to gain five tempo. Then launch your special one and tap on each blast to gain extra tempo and inflict your energy vulnerability. Stay aggressive and rush up to special two. Then, launch and tap in rhythm to gain precision and unleash a monstrous guaranteed crit. Now, her awakened ability prevents her from taking physical damage during her attacks, and she can reflect up to 200% of that damage taken back at her opponent. Also, that special two is unblockable if her opponent is inflicted with her energy vulnerability, so don't be scared to get a little creative. Now, keep in mind, she also gains that Pursuit passive when activating her Dazzling Dash. So, staying aggressive and building your tempo will allow her to consistently counter evaders without disrupting her flow. And hey, in a longer fight, you could put on a show with that special 3 to increase your tempo stacks to 150, and then build up to a mind-blowing special 2 that will leave your opponent dazzled and confused. Uh, we've got a third one that we're revealing today for the first time that no one knows about. We're about to find all. out. Yeah, for we're the gonna, first time we're ever. We're going to find out right now for the first time ever who it is because nobody knows. Now that's exciting. That it is exciting. I would be excited. I would be so excited. I would, I if was, this was the first time that I heard about this incredible thing, I would be thrilled. Exactly. And I'm actually upset that I am who I am because I know about it and I've spoiled it for myself. It kind of ruins it yeah. for myself yeah. since I know before it's revealed. Exactly. So without further ado, <laughs> our next glorious guardian to be reworked is none other than Black Panther. Civil War. Oh, now this has been a long time coming, Dave, and I am so excited to show what this guy can do. I believe we have a clip by the one and only Karate Mike. We do have a clip that <laughs> actually no one has ever seen before. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, okay. Let's, Let's roll, roll it. <laughs> T'Challa's back with some brand new Wakandan technology, and with it, he comes with some improvements. He now gains four cleanse passives on his special one, reducing the threat of debuffs against those pesky science defenders. 
Those claws can also rip some nasty bleeds on both of his special attacks. He still has that tanky defensive foundation, except this time, the payoff is enormous. He starts each fight with his reflective matrix active. And while it's up, performing a parry grants him three reflect charges. This is increased if he parries the opponent during their special attacks. You could dash back after a non-combo ending attack to refresh these, and once you've built a healthy amount, perform a heavy and cancel into your special to unleash a kinetic burst on each hit and profit from those monster bleeds. He can still purify those on-contact stun debuffs, but watch out, that reflective matrix is even more punishing than before. T'Challa has some other tricks up his sleeves. Stay tuned to find out what else he can do. Have you updated yet? Well, you should. Black Panther Civil War's buff is waiting for you in the November update. Speaking of that, there are some pretty great champions that we've already seen, right? Oh, yes. So we got Spiral. We got Dazzler. We've got Black Panther Civil War. That's three. Right? You know what would be better than that? What, four? More. <laughs> it rhymes. <laughs> we want more. More champions. Now, this is an introduction of something. Don't worry about the visuals yet. Just visualize what I'm telling you. Right now, we've got a grand 10 by 10 supply drop, right? Featuring 10 champions that you will get for free. For free. For free. Starting on December 10th, going all the way to December 19th, right? So if you are Valiant or Paragon, right, you're gonna get seven stars, right? All those champions are seven stars. Free seven stars. Free seven stars. For free. For free. No money. No money. Wow. Yeah, no money at all. Just your time. Some people say time is money, but that <laughs> physical money. Don't worry about it. Don't, 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 don't get lost in the woods here, right? Uh, if you are uncollected up to Thronebreaker, you're gonna get six star versions. And if you are Proven up to Conqueror, then you are going to get five stars, right? So just make sure you get to Proven and you get some good free stuff. And then if you, need to push, if you need to push whatever line you got to push to get to seven stars and all that stuff, that's what that is. But yep. I think maybe we should just show them the slate. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. That is 10 champions, potentially 10 seven-star champions. That's absolutely insane. Yeah, absolutely. And so that is our sixth glorious reveal. 